Good morning, welcome to St Francis Church. Tuesday the 30th of November, the Feast of St Andrew. Take a moment to settle ourselves. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with you. you. We say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Send the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said the first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. The Lord have mercy. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. We say together, most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Collect for today. Almighty God, who gave such grace to your Apostle St Andrew that he readily obeyed the call of your Son Jesus Christ and brought his brother with him. Call us by your holy word and give us grace to follow you without delay and to tell the good news of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. So we come to our readings. First reading is from Isaiah 52, verses 7 to 10. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, you watchmen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare with his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading comes from Romans chapter 10, verses 12 to 18. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But not all the Israelites accepted the good news. 
For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Of course they did. Their voice has gone out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. And all flesh will see the salvation of God. Hallelujah. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon and Peter, and his brother Andrew. Sorry, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, and they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in the boat preparing their nets. Jesus called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Father, we thank you for your word. Touch us now by your spirit, we pray. Amen. So, three readings that come together into one so nicely. The first, when we read the Isaiah, we often think of John the Baptist, but when we come to Romans, which the Romans passage repeats it, how are they to call on those in whom they have not believed, and how can they believe in one they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to proclaim him, the word said? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? And in Andrew's case today, unless they are called. This is a man who fits the bill so amazingly. Faith comes from not only what is heard, but what is seen in Andrew's case, for he walked with the Lord as one of the first of the followers of Christ, one of the first apostles. And you know, it's really interesting because when you start reading those passages, when you look at that, and I, I like that, Simon called Peter, Simon and Peter, I should have got more sleep last night. Jesus calls the fishermen. And as Andrew comes, what do we see? We see a man who leaves everything to go and be a fisher of men. I struggle with fishers of people because I used to enjoy the song that goes that way. But you know, Andrew is one of the first to be called, one of the first disciples. When Jesus calls him, he goes. And so by many it's regarded as one of the first, if not the first missionary. And although He's named among the disciples, the followers. It's only in John that we really get to hear of him. But as you start looking at Andrew, the moving of relics and him therefore becoming a Scottish saint, everything about this man, it's an easy, easy win today for the Feast of Andrew because what can you say if you hear the Lord's voice, follow him. And if you don't hear the Lord's voice, stop and say, here I am, Lord, speak. Your servant hears. It works for Samuel in the temple. It works for us today. Andrew is an encouragement to us because he gives up a business, a life, steady work, security of sorts, depending on the catch. And security of being at home and growing old instead he follows Jesus and he sees things for which we can only be envious he sees things which we're probably grateful if we knew all the things that they saw that we weren't with them he 
goes to Bethany when only days before they tried to kill Jesus and the followers. Faithful, obedient, listening, growing, learning. Isn't that what we'd ask for us if people asked what we were as Christians? So today, all I can say is be like Andrew. Follow Christ. Hear, share, tell. Bring others into Christ's presence through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for Andrew. We thank you for all that he is in encouragement to us. We thank you that this is a man who, having heard, responded. May we hear this day your voice. May our hearts not be hard. And our hearts be obedient and follow. Make us like Andrew, we pray, that the church might be one, built, and most of all, worship you. We ask this, Lord, in your most amazing name. Amen. Amen. So let us declare our faith in God. We, we believe, believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So we come to our intercessions. Father, as we reflect on the obedience of the Apostle Andrew this morning, we pray that our own hearts would be aligned with yours and that we would have that same obedience, that we would hear your call today and we would follow where you lead. Lord, help us to be fishers of all people, to let people know the good news of the Christ who has come and has set us free, because your will is for all people to be saved, and you have promised that anyone and everyone who calls on his name will be saved. So Lord, help us to tell them, help us to show them, help us to lead them. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Father, we pray for our world today, a world that is a long way from the world of Andrew, and yet so much is similar. We pray for the tensions in our world, we pray for the situation between Russia and the Ukraine, the intervention of the US in those tensions. Lord, we pray that the sabre rattling will be just that and nothing more, that there will be a de-escalation of the troops 
and the military might on show at the moment. Father, we pray for the Sudan, where protests on the street are demanding the reinstatement of the democratically elected government after the military coup last month. And Lord, we pray for all parts of the world where power is seized against the will of the people. We pray for democracy. We pray, pray for freedom. We pray for good governance. Father, we continue to pray for the situation in Las Palma as the volcano there is set to set a record for the number of days erupting. A story that has gone from our news. We've grown bored with it, but the effects on the people there are still being felt. So Lord, we pray. We pray for them. We pray that this eruption may come to an end soon, that there would be no more destruction, that lives would be able to be rebuilt and re-established. And Lord, in all parts of the world where there is disaster, <clears throat> where there are challenges, where there is injustice, where there is tension, we pray that your church may be present to preach your gospel, to live the truth of the Christ and to make a difference. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our own country as masks are reintroduced and the tensions that that will bring between those who have to enforce the, the rules, those who don't want to follow the rules, those who may feel now more nervous and who may be again fearful of coming out. Lord, we pray for common sense. We pray for good information sharing. We pray for wisdom. Above all, Lord, we pray for consideration for one another, that we would not put our own feelings above those of other people, but we would learn to interact with each other in a way that is mutually respectful, even when we differ, especially when we differ. Lord, we pray for our government, for the scientists and health experts. Lord, we pray against knee-jerk reactions, but we pray for proper measured responses. We pray for those who are currently suffering with COVID, for the 41-year-old man trapped in his own body after contracting COVID and being put into a coma, for his family and for all who are in similar situations. Lord, we pray for your comfort. Again, we pray your church would be present to bring that comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those we know personally who are ill today, who are afraid, who are suffering in mind, body or spirit. For those whose bodies are ageing, for those whose minds are ageing and confused. We pray for those who are suffering because of illness or injury. Lord, we thank you that you are a God who comes alongside and you help us even in the challenges of life. We pray that you would be with those we know and love. Help them today and help us to be your presence with them. Lord, in your mercy, hear Amen. our prayer. And Father, as ever, we pray for those who mourn. We continue to pray for Linda and Jack and the family on the passing of Olive, for Maureen and the family on the passing of Ken Gant, for Carol and 
Derek and those who miss Betty Satterthwaite. Lord, we pray for all who today will be feeling the sadness of loss. We pray for your comfort. We pray for your resilience. Above all, Lord, we pray for the reality of resurrection to be theirs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. God will speak peace to his people, to those who turn to him in their hearts. The peace of the Lord be always with you and, and also, also with, with you. you. So we offer one another a sign of peace wherever we are, knowing that we are one, knowing that we with bread and wine before us are a family. Is the Father with us? He, he is. is. Is Christ the King among us? He, he is. is. Is the Spirit here? He is. he is. This is our God, Father, Father Son, and, and Holy Christ. Spirit. We are his people. We, we are, are redeemed. redeemed. Lift up your heart. We, we lift, lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right to give, give thanks, thanks and praise. It is right and our delight to give you thanks and praise that Jesus is the King of glory who overcomes the sting of death and opens the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Seated at God's right hand in glory, one in being with the Father, from a wandering nomad, you created your family. For a burden leader, you raised up for a burdened people, you raised up a leader. For a confused nation, you chose a king. For a rebellious crowd, you sent your prophet. In these last days, you have sent us, your son, your perfect image, bringing your kingdom, revealing your will, dying, rising, reigniting, remaking your people for yourself. Through him you poured out your Holy Spirit, pour it, filling us with light and light. Therefore with angels and archangels, faithful ancestors and all in heaven, we proclaim you, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the hearts. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Almighty God, owner of all things, we thank you for giving up your only son to die on the cross for you, for us who owe you everything. Pour your refreshing spirit on us as we remember him in the way he commanded through these gifts of your creation. For on the same night that he was betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. His body was broken for us. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We are brothers and sisters through his blood. We have died together. We, we will, will rise, rise together. together, we, we will, will live, live together. together. 
Therefore, Heavenly Father, hear us as we celebrate this covenant with joy and await the coming of our brother, Jesus Christ. He died in our place, making a full atonement for the sins of the whole world, the perfect sacrifice once and for all. You accepted his offering by raising him from death and granting him great honour at your right hand on high. Amen. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. This is the feast of victory. The Lord Lamb who was slain has begun his reign. Hallelujah. As our Saviour taught us, we pray. Our, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Christ is alive forever. We are because he is. For we are one body. We share one bread. Draw near with faith. Christ is the host and we are his guests. We come to this your table, merciful Lord, knowing that without you we have nothing, recognising our emptiness, grateful for the power of your redeeming cross. Your mercy bids us come and eat as brothers and sisters to share as children of the living God. So, Father, as we come, heal us and make us whole. Feed us with the body and blood of your Son, and bring us to wholeness in him. Amen. Almighty God, on the day of Pentecost, you sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles with the wind from heaven and in tongues of flame, filling them with joy and boldness to preach the gospel. By the power of the same Spirit, strengthen us to witness your truths and to draw everyone to the fire of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, Amen. though we were far lost and distant from you in christ our king you reached out and brought us home in his life death and resurrection he shows your love takes our sins and opens to us the kingdom of heaven may we who share christ's body live in his risen life may we who drink his cup take his life to others may we in whom the spirit dwells be light to the world. Keep us steadfast and sure in the hope that we have in you, that we might live in your freedom and ever praise your holy name through Christ our King. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and those you love now and always. Amen. Amen. As we await our coming Saviour, Savior, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us. There's no evening prayer tonight, but there will be Compline. And we'll catch you later, I'm sure. Have a great day. Be blessed. Bye. Oof.
so it's funny i was a bit a bit overwhelmed so we leave that lot loading we can go and do the test sorry yeah it's funny isn't it it's you struggle when it's too small sometimes you struggle when it's too big we're a contrary bunch of humans aren't we <laughs> Oh, I can stop recording. Oh, really?